guys, welcome back to BME's channel, and today we'll be going into Vertex Groups. So make sure to stick around for these Vertex Groups. I'm doing this because I got a recent message about how someone couldn't understand Vertex Groups, and I'll be going through them so that you can understand. If you don't understand anything in Blender, just make sure to put it down in the comments so that I can give you a video on it. If you haven't installed Blender before, make sure to check on my channel because there is a video on how to install Blender. If you haven't installed Blender, you can really create amazing things with it. So I would say install it now because it's free, you don't have to pay, and you can use epic videos like my, some on my channel, which you can create amazing things. So today in Vertex Groups, I'm just going to run through a bit of a basic Vertex Group outlining. If you need more in-depth, Make sure to comment down below, otherwise I will leave it here. So, in Vertex Groups, we can add a new group. But instead of adding a new Vertex Group um, straight away, I'm going to change this so that we can see Vertex Groups uh, absolutely straightforward more easily. If we go into this sphere here and add a Vertex Group, if we move up to Z axis here and we go Tab, we can see these are little dots or vertices in this Blender tab. And if we can select a few, or if you want to select all, just click A and all will come up. If you want to see inside the cube to get the other side as well, just click this and you'll be able to see inside the cube and select other things on the bottom side. Now, if we add this to this group or select and assign, then if we select all, deselect that we can add a new group and assign it here that means when we select both of these groups everything will be selected if you want to start a uv painting or different objects like this editing you may want to edit it but it may take a while and you may just think oh let's just draw it on so why don't we go into vertex paint and we can start drawing if we start drawing here can't really see it if we go on shader editor or if we go on different objects like rendering if we click here then if we go into the shader editor we may try and draw around a vertex paint but it won't really get that far so if we go into layout we can see that this color is on white if we start drawing here still won't come up and i'll show you why in a second all right so if we see here and go into vertex paint and we draw on it it won't really work However, if we go into Shading Editor up the top, if you haven't seen these tabs in Blender or are a bit confused by any of them, make sure to watch my video on the tabs in Blender because it will really help you when you're creating blenders. So if we go out of Vertex Paint here, Object Mode, click here, it doesn't have a material. If we add a new material, we can see this, these two boxes come up, which is just the classic base colour, add it in. But that's not what we want. We could change it red but we still haven't got that vertex painting we really want if we click this yellow circle on the left of it we can get different inputs now one of these inputs is vertex color if we click on the vertex color we can see suddenly there are a few green bits which we must have painted on before if we go on to layout however and go into vertex paint we can be able to paint the vertex in this area if we see there isn't a lot of vertices on here so it's harder to paint properly go into tab and go into object mode just delete this quickly and shift add let's add a cube and you'll see why it has more vertex texts in a second if we come into here we can change the size location rotation all this stuff but if we edit it we can be able to add different areas and different models so if we can loop cut here we can add different loops and change it so it has lots of vertices however instead of doing that what you could do is shift add let's go for this sphere again we can add a radius to so the scale of it if we add some subdivisions this is, looks like an almost perfect circle and if you see now you can't really see the little um, squares there are, but actually there is little squares and little areas that they've created. So if we go into Vertex Paint with here, try and paint on it, 
it won't work. However, if we come into here, add new, go into here, vertex color, we can start painting on it and we'll be able to see the things we are creating. And it's very, um, it's closer up because of these vertices we've added. Another um, object in the vertice paint area is the wall, which we're creating now, it's just drawing on. So maybe you want some cool pattern, which only you know how to draw and you can't find it anywhere else. Maybe you want that. If you decide, oh, I like that, but if it was a bit smudged here, it'd be better. We can actually smear stuff over here. So if we click the smear button on here, if we click the smear button here, we can smear this round. Ooh, it has sort of a different look. If we want to change the color, we can go for a red. Add this in. Then maybe we'll want to go for a blue. And then you might want to smear them in. If we go on to smear, if I smear this all in, small effects where they've joined colors together. You can see there's a lot of orange coming through here where we have drawn and that's just because this is on the smear colour. If you want to annotate something and decide, oh, I'd like a face here, smiley face, and maybe I want some hair coming down here. If you decide to have that on, then you can annotate it and it will be all around here. If you want to make it into a mess, so say we have it here, we can add it there. If we move on to average, move in here, start moving around, it will just take the average colour that is in this area. So say we go over to here, the average colour is blue, we click that, oh it's blue, when we touch the white, it will change. If we go into this mess over here and add it in, then it will change to the different colours. And you may enjoy using that. Then there is blur, which is where you can blur the colours. You have created this is very useful if you want to blur a face or a name slightly but not too much as in smearing it so with these vertex um, areas and groups here we can move in here and we can see there's no vertex groups on this because we've deleted them if we add like three go into object mode there's a lot of ooh, there's a lot of um, vertices here, and we've currently got this loop cut clicked. If we click away from that, we can just see the group assign, I mean. Then if we go in here, go to group 2, assign. Then let's delete this group 1, and then if we select all, and we deselect group 3, deselect 2, then we have a small gap here hasn't been selected. If we go on to group and then assign, that means everything has a vertex group which you can create into. So this is just a quick video on vertex groups. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any blender videos or any tips that you might want to use. There is also a shader editor video with brick textures and different checkered textures as well with a lot more textures and in-depth um, changes or adding and input, output shader texture it goes through all of these. So make sure to subscribe and watch that video too. And if you need any large projects, there is a house slash castle tutorial that you can follow and create your own. There is also a bowling pin video which you may want to watch too so make sure to like and subscribe and thank you for watching